Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today on the program as we bring you great hymns of faith and gospel songs, arranged for piano and organ. Performing on the piano tonight is my friend and colleague of many years here at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Daryl Miller, who now holds the position of Associate Director of Music and Director of the Concert Series. The Christian faith is a singing faith. In Ephesians 5, we are told to speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making music in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. John 4.10 tells us, Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. One of the favorite contemporary songs about God's love for us is, Oh, How He Loves You and Me, written by Kurt Kaiser and arranged by Fred Bach. The music and words convey to us so much the meaning of such wondrous love.
As a student in Bremen, Germany, Joachim Neander lived a godless life. Though his father and grandfather were ministers, Joachim wasted his life in immorality. But when he was 20, a preacher named Under Eich came to Bremen. Joachim went to the meeting intending to ridicule the preacher, but instead he was converted. Four years later, he became headmaster of a school in Dusseldorf, and during his time there, he wrote more than 60 hymns, one of which was the famous Praise to the Lord the Almighty, the King of Creation. The Bible speaks often of God's power and majesty. The Psalms tell us, the Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with glory and majesty.
Charles Wesley is probably the greatest hymn writer the church has ever known. From the time of his conversion in 1738, Wesley wrote an average of two hymns a week, every week, for 50 years, composing between five and 6,000 hymns during his lifetime. Most of these hymns were written on horseback as he traveled with his brother John, preaching and ministering to the poor. Charles Wesley composed his hymns, bringing theology to the heart where people experience the love of God in profound ways. And can it be that I should gain an interest in the Savior's blood? Died he for me who caused his pain, for me who him to death pursued. Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my Lord, shouldst die for me? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Of all the hymns that many of us have known from childhood, one of the most simple yet profound is Jesus Loves Me. Although often thought of as a hymn for children, Jesus Loves Me is the cornerstone and central message of the Christian faith. Jesus loves me, this I know. How do we know? Because the Bible tells us so. Little ones and all who put their trust in him, to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so.
are many verses in the Bible that speak about joy. The Christian faith is a singing faith and the people of God are called upon to be joyful. The Psalms tell us, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music as we have brought you great hymns of faith and gospel songs with my special guest, Daryl Miller at the piano. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Joy of Music 